Hello everyone, in this video we'll be looking at how to do something like this. So essentially we're getting a helmet, we're putting it, uh, we're constraining it to a metahuman head and then we're going for a hand constraint and we are animating a scene in which a character takes a helmet off. Now, a couple of caveats with this. First, how did we get a helmet? So if you don't have a helmet but you have an actual full body and you would like to get the helmet, which is exactly this case, you can just go into that exact body and you can create a static mesh of it. So if we make a static mesh right now, I'm gonna go into characters, clone, commando, we're gonna call this SM destroy because we're gonna destroy it. We're gonna create a static mesh here. And once we have it right here as is, what we're going to do is we are going to send it into the world. We're going to get unlocked from our sequencer, go into selection mode. We are going to send it into the world, the static mesh. And in the modeling tools, what we'll do is very, very simple. If the mesh is correctly done, okay, again, we can close sequence. If the mesh is correctly done and we go to the modeling tools and go into model and polygroup is not gonna help. We can try polygroup select. Yeah, no, it's just a single polygroup. So if we go to mesh and go into try selection, we might be able to click on it and then click on all the other pieces. Now it's automatically recognizing sections it's just a huge brush but it's not really covering the entire section what you need to do once you have that is click on flood fill now what flood fill is doing and we're missing a couple of things that we're going to click now uh what we're missing what we're doing with flood fill is essentially grabbing everything that's connected to what we clicked on so i'm clicking on everything that was not connected so essentially this is a separate mesh that's what's happening and I'm going to click just for uh, for reassurance flood fill again. And now that we have all of that, what we can do is separate. And that, if we hit now accept, is going to create a different mesh right here. Now we have the helmet separated from the body, which is exactly what I did down there. I got a separate helmet and I'm using that. Now, final step, obviously, we need to edit pivot. So X form here, edit pivot. And we're probably going to go bottom and that's it. We got our helmet. So I did that again, but I already had that done. So what we need to do is let's take a look at our cinematic once again. So we're going to go for helmets. We're going to take a look through the um, lens of the camera. So what we need to do now is first and foremost, we need to, I've already done it here. We're going to delete everything and we're going to do it from scratch. So we need to add a helmet to our character blueprint, but this is not the helmet we are going to be removing because there is no way, or at least to my knowledge, to move a helmet, a component, within a blueprint itself through constraints or spaces. It just does not work. So we're going to remove the helmet. And the first step we need to do is obviously bring that helmet back in again. So let me go ahead and find it in the world. And we are going to do that. And once we hit the, that, we are going to drag and drop it into the face. And this is what we get. So now that we got it into the face, what we need to do is we need to attach this helmet to the head. Now, if we go ahead and choose the head, this is what happens. And this is obviously a problem, right? This is not what we want. This is not gonna work. If we zero out the values even, it's still not working. So we need to do a little bit of a work around here. I'm gonna remove the socket attachment. And what we need to do is we are going to go into the face skeletal mesh, and we are going to create a socket. We are going to remove the one that's existing there and we're going to create a socket. So we're going to add socket and that's it. We're going to save. We're going to go back in here and selecting our helmet, we are going to now attach the helmet to the head socket instead of the head. But we still have the same problem. So here's what we actually need to do for this to work. We are going to go back into the head and what we need to do is we need to fix the positioning of the helmet up to the point on which we find the exact location rotation that we want for our helmet to be in. So this is for me, roughly and very quickly, the exact location rotation where the helmet needs to be correctly. So I'm going to copy the location. I am going to go into the socket and paste it into the relative location. And I am going to do the same thing with the rotation. Copy from the helmet and paste it into the relative location, rotation, in this case, of the socket. So what this is doing is offsetting the socket so it makes exact the exact location rotation that our helmet has. So if I now remove the, the socket that I had, 
previously, zero out everything and select now the new moved socket, it will snap exactly to the correct spot. So now we're done. If you only went into this video to take a look at how to add a helmet to a character, you're done at this point. But if you want to keep going and take a look at how we can get an animation to remove the helmet or possibly put it back on, let's go ahead and go into that. So now we need to make that happen here. So a couple of things are happening here. I'm going to remove everything and we're going to start from scratch. So I simply added my metahuman or my metahuman with a clone uh, trooper body, which is explained in a previous video. I simply added him here and I'm adding the body to run an animation, which in this case is going to be helmet off, which is this animation here. This is just a, just a glitch in uh, Unreal. Probably need to reopen Sequencer because sometimes it just decides to do that. Can we get the animation running? No, we can't. We're going to remove the animation and we're going to add it again. So helmet off and we're going to move it to the correct position. There we go. So now we have the animation. That neck that you see is an LOD of the neck. Uh, I didn't bother switching all of them. I just forced them in a human to LOD zero. So this is the original helmet, the one that we have in our uh, blueprint. So we need to, first and foremost, remove it. So we're going to select the SM mesh, which is the helmet. We're going to plus icon, and we are going to type here hidden. And we're going to find hidden in game. So this is an on off switch for visibility. We're going to turn that off because we can't move that one. We need to bring a new one into the scene, which is this one right here. And we are going to bring that new one into sequencer. And in here is where the magic happens. We now need to go into the animation mode and constrain this. We're going to choose power and constrain this new helmet into our BP, then the face, and then finally our head socket. So as we do that, nothing happens. And that is because we need to right click on the constraint and make sure the dynamic and maintain offset are turned off. That's not offset. So as of right now, the helmet is in the exact same position as we had it before. So what we need to do right now is choose a point in which we are going to switch, if we take a look at the transform, in which we are going to switch from the head socket constraint. I'm going to click a keyframe to add a new constraint, power and constraint once again, but this time it'll be the body and we're going to find our right hand. Never do constraints in this way to controls because if the controls are not exposed on any type of control rig, once you do just an animation sequence, that constraint is going to break. So now I'm doing the bones. Always do bones or sockets. And now that we did that, look at what happens. The constraint switches and goes for the hand and it's seamless. Pretty good, actually. Really, pretty good. If you're seeing a graphical glitch as you press spacebar and it plays on your end, it happened to me several times, it's just a graphical glitch. If you render it out, it actually looks correct. If you go frame by frame and it looks correct, then it's just a graphical glitch. So that's it. That's it for this video. How to make a character take off a helmet or how to simply add a helmet to a pre-existing character. In this case, we're using a mesh from a uh, merge, I should say, from a metahuman with an alternate skeleton, this clone commando skeleton that I explained on a previous video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.